Welcome back everybody to another pomade review and today we'll be taking a look at another oil lease pomade, a lab made one actually and despite coming from a pretty well known classic company I find that there is a lack of reviews of this particular product in YouTube and it is Dax Washable Hair Wax. Just as most of the Dax pomades do, this one comes in a 3.5 ounce tin and each of them comes in, they're recognizable by their own um, colors. This one comes in a silver metallic um, tin it's advertised to have a strong hold and a light shine. The ingredients over here are at the bottom of the tin. And because this is designed to be a washable hair wax, we'll get more. We'll talk more about that later on. It contains PEG7 glycerol cocoid, which I believe, which I believe will um, help out in washing out this product, while all the other strange ingredients over here that you would not find in other oil-based pomades are related to the fragrance. Now if you open it up, you'd find just sort of a typical, uh, almost medium looking pomade over here with like, um, an off-white color. The scent is very artificial, it's a little sweet, I can't really compare it to anything, but to me it smells a little like mothballs, but just not with that more pungent than sharp scent, it's almost like urinal cakes. So not too crazy about the scent, but it's not a very bad scent either, but at the same time it's not something that you um, find to be super good, but right now it's just um dab my hair a little. Scooping the product out, it comes out like a typical medium hold oil based pomade. It feels a little greasy, but there's definitely some waxiness to it. Break it down, it's very tacky, it's very sticky, you feel a bit of greasiness to it. It's almost similar to the um, orange Dax pomade, the um, Neat Waves, except that it's more sticky and less greasy. Applying to the hair, there's obviously some very sticky resistance. It is, you would not find a tug and pull, it's not super difficult to apply to the hair, but you just indeed need to, um, it's not really difficult, but you would definitely feel some resistance to it. Some kind of waxy, um, sticky resistance. That was one small scoop. Now I'll just take another one right here. I normally take about two and a half scoops. And now you're beginning to see a little bit of shine. The shine over here, it's not a super wet looking shine, it's just slightly wet, but it's also a bit of that waxy um, type of white and out sheen. It's sort of like a low to medium shine, if you can tell. It's not something that's blindingly shiny, but obviously um, you can tell that your hair would look a little greasy and people would be able to tell that there is product in your hair. Taking one final scoop. And that'll be enough pomade in the hair for today. Now with the um, petroleum jelly and beeswax content over here, slickness is definitely a given. I mean, the thing about this pomade is that when I look into the ingredients, it does not contain any um, carrier oil such as, you know, um, coconut oil or almond oil, avocado oil, none of that, just um, the PEG, just the um, petroleum jelly, the beeswax, the PEG7, and all the other fragrance ingredients. So right off the bat, you won't really, you would um, be able to tell this won't be a very, very conditioning product, but at the same time, it, I guess it won't really dry it out because it's an oil-based pomade, and oil-based pomades just don't do that. And the resistance on it, when you first um, start with it, if you apply a lot, 
it'll definitely have sort of waxy resistance. You can tell that my comb moves pretty slowly, but after a few slicks, it should style pretty much like a medium to firm whole pomade. Slickness is obviously definitely a given. And the control on this one, it has sort of like a waxy control, so you can expect that your hair would just flop around. It gives a good amount of control, but albeit a sticky one. So you can tell I'm forming the pump, the way my comb just moves around. It doesn't look like the smoothest thing ever. It moves pretty slowly, and then it just slips off a little. If your hair is on the shorter side, this will, using an excessive amount of this will definitely make your hair spike. It's just one of those waxier pomades, but this one doesn't have a ridiculous amount of wax. But given that this is, you know, one of those pomades designed to have a higher hold from a classic company, you'd expect a larger amount of wax content to it. And of course, judging by its name, it's called hair wax. For some reason, I'm a little slower than usual in forming my part today, but that's not the fault of the product because with oil-based pomades like these, it should be pretty easy, um, especially with the amount of control in this one, to form your part. It's just me today. We have our days. So right now, I guess it's time to actually form the part and stop fiddling around with the palm and stop fiddling around with the part. So as I mentioned earlier, the control over here is pretty good and I have no trouble forming the shape of my pompadour, but it's just that everything has a very waxy and almost, um, it's a little difficult to comb, not the most difficult thing ever, but it's just you expect a little bit of difficulty to comb around with this because the amount of wax would just kind of restrict the speed of styling and the way your comb would move around your hair wouldn't feel very smooth or slick. But it's enough to build some shape and you can definitely achieve some height with the amount of wax it contains. Now I'm almost done forming the pomp. And after this, we should call it done. And I'll show what the um, pompadour looks like. I'm just gonna redo my pomp a little because I'm a perfectionist. And I love to take my time sometimes. But you would be able to tell um, that the hold is definitely in the stronger side of things. I would say that it's actually between, somewhere between a firm to a heavy. You'd find that your hair would pretty much stay in the same shape unless it's, if it's in summer where your hair would actually fall. You wouldn't really, I wouldn't say fall, but it just, um, you would notice a bit of deflation because it could melt in the summer as well as it'll keep its general shape but you would find just some strands just um moving a little bit throughout the day but the stickiness um the slickness will still pretty much remain so it won't turn into a huge greasy mess that you can't control once it goes out of shape but in colder weather this will definitely stay but i would consider this to be sort of a between Firm to medium. I'm firm to heavy, just somewhere in between. It's not sort of a true firm, but at the same time, I wouldn't really consider it to be heavy. Even Murray's has more hold than this one. So, right now, I'll just show what the pomp looks like. You can see that I have a pretty good height over here. The shine is not too high, it's between low to medium. Arms leading towards the medium. 
and then I can form a nice round shape for a pump. Now the last aspect we should discuss over here is the wash building. This is obviously really important because that's one of the main selling points of this product over here. Um, even though it contains PEG7 to aid it, um, which I think should aid in washing the product out, I find that it's not as washable as one would think. I think that this product really did fail in this aspect. It's not washable uh, to the um, every man standard. I mean, people would know that all these pomades are really difficult to wash, but if you say this is a washable hair wax, people would think that this is an oil based pomade that's such to what that is designed to wash out really easily in just one wash. I mean, it goes out in two to three washes, which for something like this, it should, I'm sorry, for something like this, it should take about four or five showers to get it out usually, but this one go under two or three. That's an improvement, but it's not good enough to say that it's washable because there's definitely some rest you can feel in your hair. There is actually sort of like a gross feeling of buildup and, um, it's just a little bit that slimy feel. It's slightly greasy, but more waxy type of feeling in, in your hair. It's not the cleanest buildup ever. So you still find some of that gross buildup, but would just go in two or three washes. Definitely, definitely failed in the wash building aspect. But other than that, you would get a decent hairstyle and decent shape for it. And if you're, it doesn't provide a very lot of, a lot of shine, just an appropriate amount to make your hair look um, to get the hair that vintage um, look without making it look excessively wet or greasy. So overall, I'll say that this is just an okay product. Um, it doesn't exactly, I mean, it's designed to be washable and really feel at that. And it has, indeed, it does have like a strong hold. It's strong to be firm or heavy, but it's this one's between the firm to heavy. And it does have sort of like a low type shine. So I'd say that this product is actually, I wouldn't say it's super good, but it just performs how it should in some aspects, but in the main aspect, it's main selling point that it's supposed to be washable hair wax. It failed severely in this. It's not washable um, to my standards or to what I think should be the standard. So overall, there's nothing really that special. I mean, the one thing that it's supposed to do that makes it special from the other Dax products that's supposed to be washable, it, doesn't do that at all. So it doesn't do whatever should make it special. So I think it really feel like that, which is why I'd say this is in a way that this is a bad product for that, but I wouldn't say this product is really bad because it actually does have a strong hold in the light shine, like what it's supposed to do. But it wouldn't obviously, I wouldn't say this is a good product either because it doesn't wash out very um, that easily. So if you learned a lot in this review, and if you enjoyed this one, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon so don't miss a single upload to Squinny Show, and I'll see you next time on the Squinny Show.